Ryan with Miss Doc Geek here. And in this QCX mini, mini tip number eight, I think it is, we're going to talk about band pass filter alignment. The band pass filter is what is responsible for filtering all the junk out that you don't want so that the, the receiver is more sensitive and more high performance. Uh, you'll see some designs out there. Uh, like the micro SDX, which I'm not picking on it. However, it is it is one that I know of that lack a bandpass filter that uh, causes the receiver to have more signal to deal with than it needs and lowers the sensitivity. Of course, the QCX has a bandpass filter. That's where uh, the secondary winding on T1 is, or at least that's part of it. Now, to align it, all we have to do is hold down the left button, go into the alignment and switch to peak BPF and you can see that mine here is at 08 by the way it starts at 0 and the more signal there is and uh, so you get a nice fine uh, movement here if it's lower then it'll go down a number so you'll see here it goes down quite a bit there and so you can see the top right corner, 05, 06, 07, and we're peaking it right there at 08. And that's good. In fact, the manual says 08 is fine. So now let's see where the what the position is of the capacitor. And you'll see the capacitor is neat. if it was if it was vertical in either direction, uh, or you know vertical pointing left or vertical pointing right. Uh, either one would be bad. It would indicate that uh, the in in inductance is too high or too low. However, it's right in the middle. That's perfect. That's by the book, so to speak. Now, I'm going to tell you, and this is the reason that I have this tip um, here. It didn't start out that way. At first, I was peaking at around 5. and Well, at first, it was actually peaking at 4 and wouldn't move, uh, no matter what I did. And then it peaked around 5, and then around 6. So I'm going to show you what I did here. And this is this is the tip. So these are the windings we're concerned with right here on T1. Now when I installed it, I didn't wasn't in a hurry, but I must have not done a very good job. Uh, and also I noticed that when I pressed harder on this capacitor, the very the trimmer capacitor here, I noticed that it changed. So I thought, okay, I've got. A connection issue here too. So looking at th these, we've got the capacitor he here, here, and here, and then we have T1 um, we've got T1 here, 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 and these three. So we've got the main winding here, this winding, this winding, and that winding. Uh, actually, this isn't the one. This is a secondary. I think one of these is a primary. I forget which. Doesn't matter. I heated them up. I got improvement. And when I say I heated them up, I applied solder or I applied my soldering iron to each of the connections. Held it there for some time, just as in my previous tip. And I noticed that um, one of them had some enamel come off. And I thought, oh, I've still got enamel. This is a common issue. We all. It all happens to all of us. So I burned off more enamel. I got a better signal. It peaked around uh, six, right at the top of six, but that wasn't quite enough. The manual says eight or nine is best. So uh, it says seven, eight, or nine, but I, I really wanted as high as I could get. So I kept going, kept going, and got burned off as much enamel as I could possibly get without overheating everything too much. So it peaked out at eight, and everything's good. And that concludes this QCX Mini mini tip. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to get more tips, because there certainly will be some, please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.